President of so give them a round of applause. Miigwech Nick, Chief Nipos, Chief Thomas Jolly, former Chief Kenneth Gilpin, and President of Kanaka, former Grand Chief Matthew Mukash, you have a job, Matthew. <laughs> Welcome. Do you not come to me? I uga jisagats. Isti ga jisagats in kada. Skujagat nui ko na it tags. Earth Day. I go nui ha is in kada ngno so ga jisagats ya uai. We <laughs> I'm going to go ahead with the Pakan Stagno to head the Gisagatskia. I earth day the Gisagatskia. I'm going to go with 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 they were that's how you scoot them chair Hydro Quebec in 1980. Everything I go stagnant. I, I, we can how and say then, Udiak, as you think, Karagno, up to Ud, Kaga, up to get estimated. I, uh, Dutka, Matthew, uh, Mukasman's good guy, the Dutch with Magrano, yeah, then how guy, then how guy, uh, guy de Tagnotia, could go stagnant in here. But they go to a toxot, who to a Ganetagno and her, go stagnant. I'm going to have a Nistonia in a pun. I'm going to have a stuck in the head. I'm going to have a wheat marat and cheese. As president, it is my honor and it's my pleasure on behalf of the Cree Cultural Institute to welcome all the participants and all the guests and the visitors to this very special occasion today. When the Cree Nation celebrates the 25th anniversary of the historic voyage of the Odiak, the celebration of this very significant event in the history of the Cree Nation was organized as a joint undertaking by the Cree Cultural uh, Institute workers in close collaboration with the, with the Cree Nation Youth Council. It was organized this way with a very clear purpose in mind. It is a very appropriate that Anstjogmuk be the venue for holding this important celebration. This place, this building has become a permanent home for a, a remarkable piece of shipbuilding, which reflects equally remarkable collaboration between the Crees and the Inuit that sparked the idea of the Odiac. This place also maintains the history of that time through its collections, through its video histories, and through its records. And this place maintains the record of the consequence of that event on the history of the Cree Nation. At the same time, the meaning of that event, the meaning of the Odiac, and the events around it provide very important lessons and some very important messages that we believe needed to be shared with, passed on to our youth. You will hear these messages from all the people who are be, will be speaking to you today. Each speaker will provide a message 
for our youth from their own perspective and, per, and from the perspective of their particular area of interest and focus. Their message will be quite simple, yet very profound. The voyage of the Odiac was inspired by the intense desire at the time to explain to the world our connection to the land and how our connection to the land is at the heart of who we are as people. It's about telling the world that our connection to the land is sacred and it's based on our understanding, our connection to all creation. The message to our youth will be about knowing what we must always, that we must always occupy our land because we must always rely on the land to sustain us, to provide for us, and to take care of us. And it will do that so long as we take care of the land. Over the last couple of years, the Cree Nation has placed particular emphasis on, on communicating important messages to our youth. Through the round table on capacity building, we have gathered together youth of, in all Cree communities and in the southern cities to tell them about the challenges we faced back as, as a nation and as individuals. We told them about how we overcame these challenges through struggles, through courage, through wisdom, and through the unity of our people so that we could arrive at where we are in our development. These struggles have brought us to a point in our collective Cree history where the possibility is there. It is within our grasp to become a major economic and political force in the USG. And in order to achieve it, it will be up to our youth to develop the skills and the knowledge to administer our, our traditional territory and to develop it in a sustainable way. We may not all of us be involved primarily in traditional pursuits, but we will all continue to rely on the land and its, and its resources to sustain us. And how, we, how will we do this in a way which is effective in providing employment and income to our people while also ensuring and continuing ability of the land to sustain us? That will be the challenge of the next generation and the generations to follow. And this is why the story of the Odiac is so important to us to tell and to retell to generations to come. The story of a voyage of the strange looking little boat is intended to inspire our youth and to carry on with the vision of our elders and our leaders and to carry on the work of building our Cree nation with the same spirit of dedication and commitment which was shown during the event around the voyage of the Odiac 25 years ago. This is the meaning of the Odiac, and this is why we decided to protect it in this building at all times. With that, we'll invite you to enjoy today's celebration and, enjoying, and enjoy visiting the special building and its exhibitions, and enjoy being with us in Ujibugmo. In, in concluding, I want to just acknowledge uh, some people. I want to thank uh, people who have been involved in uh, working on the, this building here on Stjogmuk. And I want to take this time to thank Diane Reed. Diane Reed has led the development of Anstjogmuk for more than two decades. Diane took Anstjogmuk.
Diane took Anstjogmuk from the vision of our elders to a thriving organization with a cultural showpiece that we stand in today. For everyone who knows Diane, Diane is a, a driving force and she has taken her fearless commitment and energy to build up Anstjogmuk as a regional Cree cultural entity for the benefit of all of you Ishti. Besides his, this building and the organizational structure, Diane has left the precious legacy of hiring the best experts in UHG and beyond to create and form the long-term staff of Anstjogmuk. We will continue in this as we grow. I'd like to thank Diane for her incredible work and congratulate her on the great success that she has made of Anstjogmuk for all of us. Miigwech, Diane. This next one, I don't mind, uh, Stephen, if you could uh, rise up so everybody can see who you are. This is Stephen English. On May the 1st this year, Dr. Stephen English as Executive Director of Anstjogmuk. Stephen joined us, joined the Cree Project in early 2010. He was instrumental in the development of the building, the collections, the exhibition, staffing, policy development, and the operations as, as the museum and the cultural center began delivering services. So, Stephen will be succeeded by Dr. Sarah Pasigamskam, an educational specialist who is currently the director of programs at the Institute. And Sarah's way back there, for those of you who don't know. <laughs> Diane and Willie Isroff. Willie, if you want to stand up. Willie is the Vice President of Hans Chogmuk. <laughs> have said about Stephen. With the services of Stephen as Executive Director in the last four years, we have accomplished the implementation of the objectives of the Cree Cultural Institute. Both Willie and I, as members of the Executive, owe a great deal to Stephen for his expertise and diligence in to this work. We hi highly commend his personal performance and achievements in his own right as an excellent colleague in our collective endeavor to protect and to enhance the rich culture of the nation. For this tireless commit mit commitment, we will be internally grateful Stephen, miigwech. So, good to see Stan. I thank you again. Book same no game. So, did you say we choose it? Then how I now ask you again? Is the new to go? You or up to you? Okay, miigwech.